Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer. It's going to wait for people to join and then we will begin. I'm also going to make sure I'm actually live right now. Blessings, Lynn. I'm hoping I'm live. I can not see myself. So let me know if you can see me. Let me make sure. Okay. I can see myself. Good afternoon, Mike and Gail. Welcome. So it's quite the time to gather and pray. I'm not sure if uh, many of you, I'm hoping most of us know what happened yesterday um, at the Capitol and how much that has affected so many of us. So um, we are gonna do a special prayer for that. Um, and I have a few things to share about it. But <laughs> first, we're going to start off with um, a telling of the biblical story from Mark, which we will um, hear a sermon about on Sunday. So it's the Mark's telling of Jesus's baptism, because Sunday is the baptism of our Lord. So I'm going to share my good friend and colleagues uh telling of the story pastor jason chestnut and um ankles films and let you guys see that and then we will go from there okay appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and people from the whole Judean countryside all the people in Jerusalem went down to him they were baptized in the River Jordan publicly confessing their sin now John John was clothed with camel's hair he had a leather belt wrapped around his waist. He, he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie the strap of a sandal. I baptize you with water, but, but he will baptize you with Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens ripped open. And the Holy Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You're my boy. You're, You're my, my beloved, beloved son. son. You are my son, whom I dearly whom I love. Dearly love. I delight you bring me such I am so pleased with you. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um. Yeah, so I've I've heard this story read and told so many times, but to see it in that way with the water in the background, as well as 
the ending with the voices of God. Anyway, there's just something about that that makes it so relatable and understandable. And um, during a Bible study on Wednesday, yesterday, wow, on yesterday, uh, about this text, uh, some of my colleagues and I, we discussed this and there was something beautiful, um, Pastor Chris Schaefer from our Synod shared this idea that um, the imagery of the heavens opening and, uh, and God speaking and the, uh, the spirit uh, descending um, is kind of this beautiful Im imagery of God breaking through and coming into what is this ordinary place, you know, into um, into this time and place with Jesus and John the Baptist in these ordinary waters, right? Um, and with most ordinary people <laughs> and how not even the cosmos could separate God's love and God's willingness to be with us. And I wanted to share that hopeful message with you today because I know that a lot of us, by seeing what happened yesterday, by paying attention to the news, by living through 2020 and clearly into the new year of 2021, um, that many of us probably feel a bit of despair, some anger, some frustration. Um, and I still wanted to share this story of hope um, that God, that nothing can separate God's love from us. And I also wanted to say <laughs> that the other part of that is while some of us might feel like we don't have any power, any say, anything that we can actually do. I want to offer that that is simply untrue. <laughs> um, and it's not just with our prayers, although they are important. And this is why we're gathered here today. So no discouragement, no, nothing that says that our prayers do not matter. They are so important. Um, and <laughs> one of the images that someone had pointed out yesterday in our Wednesday evening um, worship was that in the crowd of people who were protesting yesterday, there was a Christian flag. And I think that that is a reminder of our responsibility as Christ followers. Um, that when we say that we bear the image of Christ, that we believe as followers of Christ, that God's love is stronger and can change and do so much, that we also are accepting um, our part in it to be the love um, that we know is possible. Um, and that's towards our neighbors um, and the love that we receive and to also extend the mercy and grace that we also believe we receive. So I just wanted to offer that reflection to you today <laughs> um, because I know that a lot of people are still in shock and angry and whatever else uh feelings that you might have at this moment so i'm gonna leave it there and continue on with the song um which is in our book it's number 720 it's called we are called come live in the light Shine with the joy and the love of the Lord. We are called to be light for the kingdom, to live in the freedom of the city of God. We are called to act with justice, 
We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one another, to walk humbly with God. Come, open your heart. Show your mercy to all those in fear. We are called to be hope for the hopeless so hatred and blindness will be no more we are called to act with justice we are called to love tenderly we are called to serve one another to walk humbly with God. Gracious God, by day and night we pour out our prayer to you. We are crying out for justice, yearning for what is right, longing for your peace. Come quickly to help us, O oh God. Save those who call upon your name. We pray especially for our nation, for the division that has not just begun, but has been here for quite some time. We pray for your strength, your guidance, your spirit of discernment to fall on all of us, to empower us to be the love that we know is possible in this world, to hold each other accountable and to embrace the gift of the Holy Spirit and to live into our baptismal call to be followers of Christ, to embrace your love as your children. We pray for each person who has shown up today in whatever way that they are showing up, that you may continue to show them how we are a part of a whole. That we believe and have faith that our prayers do matter, that you hear us, that you are present in this moment and that nothing, absolutely nothing will separate us from your love and your willingness to be among us, especially in these times when it feels like evil has taken its final stance or something, I don't know, that evil is pervasive, that's the word. Let your goodness, your love, your mercy outshine, outpower what seems like a dismal situation. Give us all the strength to believe in that and to love one another, to be hope in this hopeless time. Sing, sing a new song. Sing of that great day when all will be one. God will reign and will walk with each other as sisters and brothers united in love. We are called to act with justice. We are called 
to love tenderly. We are called to serve one another, to walk humbly with God. I pray all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you all so much for showing up today. Um, remember that there is definitely strength and power and what God has given us together. So live into that, encourage one another, share the hope and the love. Peace y'all.